A wildfire continues to burn in the mountains above the Coachella Valley. It's in Pinion Pines, just up Highway 74. That fire is now 30% contained at 400 acres. An evacuation warning is in place tonight for Pinion Pines and Alpine Village. News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia leads off our team coverage tonight live at 5. And Jake, the heat is playing a key factor in this firefight. Yeah, Karen, good evening to you. It is these scorching temperatures and nightly winds that fire crews are going to be continuing to battle throughout the night here. But what a difference a day has made in this incident. Hundreds of acres so far scorched through, but at this moment, it is just smoldering hot spots that firefighters are going to continue to be cleaning up. Now, take a look at this and see just what a fine line firefighters are walking here. You can see that water tender providing structure protection to this home and that red fire retardant surrounding it, stopping the forward spread of those flames, keeping them just far enough away to spare that structure. Now, of course, the heat, it's about 10 degrees or so cooler up here on the mountain than down in the valley. But for firefighters in that heavy gear hiking through this difficult to access terrain, that means that they can get exhausted quickly, especially with this sun beating down. 400 personnel are fighting this fire with Cal Fire and the Forest Service beefing up their staff in order to be able to switching out crews more often helping to protect them from potential heat exhaustion. With this uh, heat wave that came in with the uh, higher temperatures and uh, winds increasing, drier RHs in the humidity with uh, drier fuel conditions, it makes it very, very difficult for the firefighters in the field to uh, do the job, maintain hydration, and still be able to uh, continue mop up at a high paced rate. You know, long sleeves, pants, you know, carrying, carrying their gear, um, you do get tired. So we try to get our folks some time rest, get them some shade, get them some AC in the vehicles once in a while, um, limit uh, the exposure to, you know, 16 hour shifts. A difficult job to do, especially in this triple digit heat here. And crews up here in the higher elevations have actually had to helicopter in pallets of water, about 200 gallons of it, to keep firefighters here hydrated without them having to hike, carrying that weight in this heat and this sun. And tonight, another 250 firefighters will be coming in to relieve the crews that are out here still today, continuing to push that containment forward through the night and into tomorrow. We're live tonight in Pinion Pines. Jake and Gracia, News Channel 3. Thank you, Jake. Uh, News Channel 3's Crystal, Crystal Jimenez continues our team coverage tonight live at 5 with more on how the fire is impacting residents. Crystal. The flat fire has forced several people out of their homes while firefighters work on containment. Also other neighborhoods just patiently waiting to see what comes next for them. It's terrible to see uh, this area because it was a beautiful, lush uh, forest and now it'll take probably 10, 15 years just to get somewhat back to normal. Fire crews have been working on the flat fire since Sunday morning when it received a call around 11.15 a.m. 400 firefighters have been called to duty since then. Our focus is going direct on the fire and continuing our containment lines. We do have some open sections of line. That will be our priority uh, along with protecting the communities in the surrounding area. These crews working through the day to contain the fire as much as possible. Meanwhile, firefighters continue to battle the threat to structures in the Pinion Crest neighborhood. One resident had a hard time getting to his home after hearing of the fire while out of town. The big issue right now is the access. I mean, we cannot go to Pond Desert. We cannot go to Pond Springs. We have to go around. And yesterday, actually, when I was coming from uh, L.A., um, and the 371 is closed, so they couldn't let me in. But he's thankful to have those brave firefighters helping keep his home safe. For all you helps, I mean, you guys are heroes. Uh, this is not the first time we get we get in. Uh, actually, it's surprising because now we're getting closer fires right now. Fire crews will continue working through the evening until the fire is completely contained. And for all the latest details, you can visit us at KESQ.com. Reporting your opinion, Pines, Crystal Jimenez, News Channel 3.